That's the second wing completed. Now I'm just adding a little bit of white to these outside areas here. So they're quite bright. You'll see it's the same colour as the area going around here, which again we'll add a little bit of white to. Won't worry about that side, I'll do the same again. This is these, these again are identical. So I'll do this side and then complete that side off camera. Okay, that's good. Now in here, this is a little bit darker than above. So we we'll use our ivory. And then in fact I think we can do ivory over the whole of that area now. The white just gives it a lift. That's why I put the white on, just lines it up. It's the same in there. That's all we're going to be. Okay, now that when we've got that established, while we've got the uh, with the white the white and ivory, we we'll just put a little bit of white in there because that's a bit whiter. And then the ivory can go in this area. It's similar to the first, the only difference is here and here are going to be very different. So we won't complete that area just at the moment because it, it's the same as the remaining areas of the butterfly. Okay, so we'll worry about that at the moment. Just want to get this established. Okay, so again, ivory over the top of the white. Excellent. Now I'm, I'm going to leave this for the moment, but this is also going to be ivory, but I won't, I won't do that yet. I'll, let's just do the orange first. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hang on. We've got to, we've got to, I'm going to do the blue. The blue here is a little more pronounced than it is above. So we'll start with the grey as we did before. This is the 230. Okay, establish that. And the area surrounding it is going to be done in the, not that one, I'm coming. Lots of colours here that, in fact, I shouldn't have that one at all. Let's have a mind. Um, this is 283. You'll be careful here. We've got to develop. Take a bit of care because if we go too mad here, we'll be. It's a little bit of a gap between here and here. I'm just I've just noticed it on the reference picture, so I'm just going to leave it around here. No, I don't think that's relevant to be honest. Looking at it again, some things you have to change. And that's one of them. Too fiddly for one thing, and really would have no relevance in the scheme of things. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm letting you see all of these because these trickier areas are sometimes worth looking at. In their entirety, and that one then creep, creeps down to that. Well, that's, now I'll just double check that I've done that right. Yep, that's not bad. There is a kind of. I'll just show you. It's very, very. I can see that the colour slips back in between these two. I can the veins. So I'll, I'll start the ball rolling, and not necessarily, that's wrong there, so we'll take it off, we'll take it off, that one's wrong, and that one's wrong, we'll take it off with a double-ended eraser, and back over with the ivory, okay, and then we can do it again, what, what happened was, I was wasn't quite even. That's better. Right. 
that's all going to disappear when I get to the orange colour. Okay, now we've got to. I'm going to put some of oh, the 182, which is what I used above. And there's a little bit more of it here, so I'm putting this on this half of the edge butterfly. Very, very fine. Nothing, nothing. Don't press too hard when you're doing anything like this, except here where we want it to be to have a more obvious slide. And I'll be going over with the 179 in a mo. Okay. But I think we'll just run on the edge of that too. Better to have an edge of colour than it is a pencil line. But I definitely want a line there because it will give me a definition against the background when we do it, which is going to be a flower, folks.